My name is Miss Gloria and I am a junior players teaching artist with Dallas Independent School District. If we've worked together before, it is so good to see your face again. And if we haven't worked together, I am so excited to meet you and work with you and make some great theater. <gasps> Which reminds me, I've got to pull out my actor's backpack. Now, this is my special actor's backpack. And the item in here is gonna tell us exactly what we're gonna learn about today. So let's see what the backpack has in store for us today. It's another message. Well, what could it be? Let's see. It's words. Let me read them. I can show you the world, shining, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, princess, now when did you last let your heart decide? These are the lyrics from the song A Whole New World from Aladdin. <gasps> I think that means that we're gonna learn how to act out lyrics to a song. Oh my gosh, I love musical theater. I love singing and I love acting. This is gonna be so much fun. If you've ever sung a song from Disney or, or from any other cartoon, then you've made musical theater and we're gonna learn all about interpreting music and lyrics today. So put your thinking cap on, get your space ready to move and be brave because theater takes a lot of bravery, but it's also a lot of fun. I'll see you on the other side. So I'm willing to bet a thousand dollars that you have gone to see musical theater before. And if you think I'm wrong, just look at Coco. Coco is a musical. Beauty and the Beast was a musical. Aladdin was a musical. The Little Mermaid, The Lion King, the list goes on and on. There's so many popular movies in the last 20 years that are for kids that have absolutely been musicals. And we love them because it's got, they've got these beautiful pictures and they've got this great music that you can sing along to. And sometimes they feature dancing and stuff like that. Disney musicals are so popular that oftentimes they'll start off as a cartoon like The Lion King, and then they get produced into big Broadway musicals that are also really, really popular with live actors on a stage. So musical theater is really important to our culture uh, and it's really special to young people and older people alike. Now, what's the difference between musical theater and standard theater, right? So a standard theater, standard plays, don't have a ton of music and dancing and singing, right? So, so musical theater is just theater plus music, right? Pretty self-explanatory. And what's the difference between musical theater and just music that you hear on the radio or that you go hear and see at the symphony? Well, music that you hear on the radio or at the symphony is really just singing or instruments, but not a lot of acting or stage pictures. So regular music plus theater, again, is musical theater. It's pretty self-explanatory. Now what makes songs in musical theater so special and so different is that we're really taking the best parts of acting from theater and the best parts of music from music and having them marry each other. So we'll take a song as an actor and we'll really think about the lyrics, the words to the song, and we'll really try to give them meaning and express emotion so that the audience really understands what we're trying to say and we end up connecting on a deeper level. I mean, that's what makes us human and that's why we love art, right? So I'm gonna take a very simple song that we should all know. Uh, it's the happy birthday song, right? And if we're just gonna sing it, you know, I'm gonna sing it first without any emotion. So it's happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Now, that interpretation is a little bit boring, right? Uh, there's not a really lot, a lot that you can do with it. Uh, maybe that's a very boring birthday party that you stumbled upon. Now, I'm gonna try to inject some emotion and put some acting into it, okay? And you tell me what you get from the way that I'm singing it, okay? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. So, what did you get from my interpretation of that song? What kind of a character am I playing? What, am I tr what kind of a message am I trying to get across? 
Maybe I'm very, very excited about singing happy birthday to that person. Maybe I have a serious crush on the person that I'm trying to sing to. Let's try a different interpretation. Okay, so let's see what we can gather from this. And let's just look at the lyrics, right? So the lyrics, the words to the song are happy birthday to you. It's so simple, right? So I'm trying to say happy birthday to you, right? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You. So based on the way that I sang happy birthday the last time, what do you think my character was feeling? Do you think my character was super excited to sing happy birthday to the person that I was singing happy birthday to? No, probably not. But what gave it away? What, what in my acting showed you that I was upset with the person I was singing happy birthday to? I'm gonna give you five seconds to think about it. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let me know. Okay, so maybe it was my physicality, right? The way that I used my body where I was like, to you. Anytime I said you, it sounded like I was shushing the person away, like go away, I don't like you. And then there was another time where I couldn't even get the word you out. I almost like threw up in my mouth. I was like, Who, you, okay, which is extreme. But I'm trying to show you that even with a song as simple as happy birthday to you, with, song, with the lyrics as simple as happy birthday to you, every artist, every actor can interpret those lyrics completely differently, right? So we had the first example of happy birthday where I had a crush on the person. And then we had the second example of happy birthday where I was really kind of grossed out by the person. And you can do this with any song in musical theater. So let's go back to the lyrics from Aladdin, right? So another thing that's important before you sing a song in musical theater is just like in acting when you step into a character. Whatever choices you make have to be right for the character. So if I'm playing Aladdin in Aladdin, I know that my character was originally uh, poor and struggling, but he was always in a good mood, right? That person was always positive. And I know that that person is in love with Princess Jasmine. And a whole new world comes at a point in the play where he's trying to show her his love for her. So there's a lot of different things that you can do as an artist, but you've got to stay true to what the play or the movie says about the character. So if I know that I'm Aladdin and I'm in love with, with Princess Jasmine, and the first line is, I can show you the world, how would we get across to the audience that we're in love with Princess Jasmine, right? So you could say, I can show you the world, right? So I'm in love with this person, remember that, right? So I'm gonna try to express that I'm in love with you by saying, I can show you the world right? And then we're going to add the singing to it, right? So did you notice here when I opened up my arms, I was like trying to show, I was trying to show Jasmine the whole world, right? So now I'm going to add singing, right? I can show you the world, right? So it's better, it's, it's more engaging, it's more exciting than just saying, I can show you the world, right? When you add acting, it becomes a whole different thing. I can show you the world, right? It becomes bigger and it becomes more meaningful. Now I want you to try it and I want you to pretend that you wanna show somebody the entire world. So you go ahead and do it for me. And use your physicality, okay? And it doesn't have to sound pretty, but it has to mean something. Oh man, that's really, really good. Okay, so now you've got a new tool in your actor's backpack. And the next time you sing a song, whether it be in theater or a song from the radio, I want you to really listen to the lyrics and I want you to put some character in it. Uh, so if you're singing a song from Coco, I want you to think about the characters from Coco and how they would sing that song. I want you to look at the words to the song. I want you to figure out what they mean and then I want you to add that meaning into the music and it'll make the music so much 
better and you'll be such a better actor. And that's why we're here. I want to thank you for joining me today. It was so good to see you and it was so much fun to work with you. I want you to stay safe. I want you to be kind to your families and I want you to keep on making theater. Until next time. Mm -hmm.